Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jake the Fate, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review and demo on these Ernie Ball Sinister Gates signature guitar strings. All right, so here I have the Sinister Gate signature guitar strings from Ernie Ball. These guitar strings have been out for a few months now, and I bought them when they first came out. I just haven't had the time to do like an actual review and demo. I have been dying to put these on my Sinister Gates guitars. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a comparison with the regular Skinny Top Heavy Bottoms 10 and 52s to these, the Sinister Gates signature guitar strings. And I'm gonna be doing a comparison to them because I wanna see if there's a difference tonally or physically because you know, there is a big huge difference between the price ranges so i'm gonna take you guys to the workbench and i'm gonna show you guys what comes in you know if you guys buy this and then i'm gonna do a back-to-back -back sound of the ernie ball skinny top heavy bottoms regular 10 52s and then these and then i'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on these sinister gates signature guitar strings all right so before we get into the actual sound demo i, I just want to see if there's any physical differences between a regular 10 to 52s with Sinister Gates Customs. Now, these are pretty pricey, and if they're the exact same strings, then I'd be pretty disappointed. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do, because I did pay a lot of money for this, I don't wanna ruin this. If you're just gonna be paying for the packaging, then I don't wanna start ripping these things up. Now, there's nothing on the back either, like on this. And this thing looks like it's just a sticker, so. Nothing to die for there. Like I said, I don't want to... I really wish I had a pair of scissors. Okay, we're in. Does it smell like Sinister Gates? So, nothing in here. And then, you know, you just get the regular string packaging. Like this logo on the strings itself. This one, I could probably just rip it up. I really don't mind because I buy these basically all the time. Oh, there you go. I don't know if this is with me guys, but these always have a weird smell to it, which is what I thought these were gonna smell like. There's a weird smell to it, but this one smells normal. So that is what we have here, 10 to 52s over here, regular Ernie Balls, 10 to 52 Sinister Gates. Now, let's see if there's a, actually I can already see a difference. Yeah. You know what? I don't know if you guys can catch that on the camera, but this one has like a, a darker coating to it. So they're probably using like a different kind of steel for this. You know what I think these are kind of like? I don't know if it's the Paradigms or the Cobalts or the M-Steels. Because I've tried most of those and I've always just come back straight to these. Just because obviously they're a lot cheaper. Yeah, as you guys can see it right there. I don't know if the white can do a little better for you guys. There's like a darker coating on these. I have these over here. I don't know if it's the Cobalts. Could be the cobalt or the paradigms. I'm just gonna open these up just to show you, see if it's these. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I think these are the exact same ones. I think what they're using is the cobalts, but from what I'm guessing. They could just be the cobalts <laughs> and they just repackage them. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But well, from the looks of it, these look similar. There's nothing very fancy or schmancy when it comes to that. Like I said, I am going to obviously keep this because I'm going to cut this off and keep this because, you know, you're paying almost $15 for a set of fucking strings. So the least you can do is at least keep this. Plus I'm like, 
I've been a Sinister Gates fan since I was like 12 years old. But we are gonna see if there's a difference tonally, but physically, there is a difference. As you guys can see right there, these are a bit darker than the regular 10 of 52s. And like I said, these could just be the Cobalts because these have the same kind of uh, tint to it. It could be the same Cobalt steel that they use for it. So, you know, I have an eye for that kind of stuff, guys. So they ain't gonna try to trick me. Honestly, what I wish they did, what would have been cool is if they did, uh, you know, James Hetfield's like a little box at least. Like Slash has his own little set. You know, James Hetfield has his set. They just made the, uh, they made him a new one, a black and yellow one for the new album that just came out, which is the same thing. Also, my first video that I made was, <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing, guys, so I do apologize for that, and I cringe every time I uh, go back and even, ha I just keep it up just to have it up. But with James Hetfield's set, his is a 50, his low gauge is a 50, and he's got the 11, which is kind of like the, uh, power slinkies and slashes signature strings his are like basically just the power slinkies sinister gates his are just basically 10 to 52s probably just cope you know with this kind of steel i don't know if there's going to be a difference i don't want to start doing like a you know a comparison of this this set you know doing three because you guys know how annoying it is to uh restring a floyd rose so i'm only going to just be doing these two and if I feel like it, if there's time, I might throw this one in there and see what it sounds like. But for now, I'm just going to do these two. So I'm going to do the regular 10 to 52s, uh, a couple of riffs because I don't want to get copyrighted. And then I'm going to do the same riffs with these strings, uh, a couple of leads here and there, and see if there's anything of a difference. And then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on these signature Sinister Gates Ernie Ball strings.
All right, so there it is, the Sinister Gates signature guitar strings. Honestly, tonally, you kind of have to have an ear to like really see if you can hear the difference because, you know, it's barely noticeable. It's like very subtle to try to hear the difference. Like if you were to buy these strings and you put them on your guitar, no one's gonna be like, oh, I think he's got the Sinister Gates guitar strings on or are they the regular skinny tops, heavy bottoms? You know, no one's really gonna know the difference or, you know, you know what I mean? And so tonally, you know, it. I had to hear it back to back a few times to, to hear the difference. With, the, with these strings, they do sound a little bit brighter and a little bit, you know, because I didn't do anything of a difference with, you know, no volume change, no nothing. All I really did was just take this over there, change the strings, come back, record, and go back. So these do sound a tiny bit brighter. The regular skinny tops, heavy bottoms sound a little bit of a low range. And these do have a bit of a higher range. And I don't know if it's just me. They do sound a little bit louder. Or I don't know if I was attacking it a little bit more. But I don't know what was going on. But they do sound, they do have a little bit of more output to them. So would I recommend you guys getting these? Mm, honestly, if you're a huge Sinister Gates fan, I would say yes. Why? Because, you know, growing up, I was a huge Sinister Gates fan. And if there was something like this when I was growing up, you know, as a 12, 13, 14, 15 year old kid, and they had this, oh my, I would have freaking lost my mind. I would have been like, oh my God, I need those on every guitar I own. But obviously, you know, these things are pretty pricey. And like I said, I wish that they made like the, uh, like how James Hetfield has his own little box, you know, with like three packs of these and Slash also. I wish they did the same thing with Sinister Gates because one of these strings, they, they would cost you, they cost like $12, $13. So, you know, I bought three packs of these and then after shipping, you know, the regular five day uh, standard shipping, which is like another, I think $5, I think. And they have the other option of two day shipping, which is like, I think $10. So you're gonna be spending for a three pack close to like $50 just for three sets of strings. If you buy one and you pay the shipping and everything, you're paying almost $20 just for one pack of strings. So, and then you're going to be waiting a whole entire week and then you get them and you're like, that's it. If you're a huge Sinister Gates fan like myself, I'd say, yes, go ahead and get them. I'd say get as much as you can, even though they're pricey. I would have to say, you know, cause I'm a collector. I like to collect not just, you know, guitars, but I collect action figures and a bunch of other stuff. And just have this in your collection because you never know. Down the road, they stop making these or, you know, these become limited edition. You'll, you'll have one and you'll have something from back in the day. The only bad thing about these is that you can only buy them on. <laughs> and the only bad thing about this is that you can only buy them off of his website, the, the Sinister Gates official website. You know, you can't go to Guitar Center or Sam Ash or any guitar store to try to get these. So that's why, you know, it's kind of like a damn, you know, I wish that you could just go to a guitar store and get them. But like I said, if they did the uh, three sets with the container as like a collector's piece, that would be freaking awesome. Just because, you know, again, you know, you're, you're kind of paying for the packaging and, you know, the name, the brand. And like I said, I don't know if these are like the Cobalts because they do look exactly alike. You know, that's just my biased opinion. I'm not saying that it is, but what's going on, Ernie Ball? What's going on? You know, it would have been cool if they put like a sticker or something cool inside the package, but unfortunately, it's just <laughs> literally the guitar string. So if you rip this thing and you throw it out, then there goes 15 bucks. If you guys are Sinister Gates fans, I'd say buy two sets, have one for your collection, and then have the other one. You know, try to cut it clean and you know save this because you know you're you're basically paying for the package so there it is i hope you guys found this video useful and helpful in any way shape or form don't forget to like comment and subscribe because this is all i do on this channel guitar reviews guitar builds wiring stuff anything guitar related that's all i do on this channel and with that i'll catch you guys on the next one